Okay, in this video we're going to look at variables and comments. And to do this I don't want the interactive window, I want the non-interactive window. Okay, it's going to create a new file. I'm going to save it and for this one I'm going to call it Sweets and you'll see why in a second. Okay, now one of the key things in programming is the ability to leave comments for yourself. These are things that uh, the computer actually ignores. Python doesn't do anything with them at all. But they're very useful, particularly when you start to write longer bits of information and you're trying to remember why you wrote it, or if you're working on a project together and you're trying to explain what the other person, what to the other person, what you were doing. Now, in Python, there's two ways to do comments. You can use a hash at the beginning of a line, and then you can write uh, a message. So this is a comment. If you've got a longer one. You can do the same thing, start each one with a hashtag, or you can use three speech marks like this, and you can go, this is a much longer comment that might need to go onto lots of lines, and therefore I don't want to keep pressing the hashtag. And that will work the same way. Most of the time, though, we're going to be using the first one. Now, in this first bit, what we're going to do is we're going to make a short program that does a short bit of multiplication, and it's going to be about children and sweets. So I'm going to say that in a class there are 20 children. Now, children is a variable because I can change the number. If it was a bigger class, we could change this to 30. Or if it's a smaller class, I could take it to 15. In programming, there are also things called constants. Now, constants are things that don't change. For instance, pi is always 3.142, and it continues. Constants in um, Python are written in capital letters, but that's the only difference. But we're not going to be using those very much. We're going to be using variables a lot more. So if I've said there are 20 children in the class, we might want to remind ourselves what that is. So we could use a comment to say, this is the number of children in the class. Then we might want a number of sweets. So let's say in a bag there's 60 sweets. And again, we can use hashtag. This is the number of sweets in the bag. Again, this can be useful if we look back. Not so much on this program, it's not overly complicated. One of the key things with variables is not only we can change them, but we can use them multiple times through the program. So what we can now find out is we can find out like a total for each child. So let's say total equals, um, we've got 20 children, we've got 60 sweets. We want to do 60 divided by 20. Now the problem there is if I now change the children to 15, I'd have to go down here and change this to 15. Whereas if we actually use the variables, oh, that's 20, we can say the total equals sweets divided by children. And what we can then do is we can then print out that result. So we can say print brackets. Now we don't want speech marks on this one because we're printing the result, we're not printing the word total, so we just put print total. And what we should get if we run this is just the answer 3. Why? Because 20 goes into 63 times. The nice thing about this bit of code is if we change the number of children, so the class has gone down to 15 children, the number of sweets is the same, and we do the same thing again. We go run, run the module, press OK. We get a new answer, but we don't need to rewrite the multiplication or, we need to, or division in this case. We just need to change the actual numbers. And we're going to look at this a little bit more when we come on to inputs, because there's a better way of actually entering this in.